Africa is a beautiful continent, and its beauty can be seen in its places and people. Welcome to Kwehu Media Africa, where we'll be looking at some of Africa's indigenous peoples, their lifestyles, cultures, and learning about life through their knowledge and experiences. Before we begin, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we'll look at the Tuareg, also known as the Blue People of Africa. The Tuareg are Berbs of Semitic ancestry who live in the Sahara Desert. They are found in Libya, Algeria, Mali, and Burkina Faso, with the majority residing in Mali and Niger. You may be wondering why they are known as the Blue People of Africa. This is due to the indigo-colored clothing they typically wear, which stains their complexion. Let's dig a little deeper into their culture. Tuareg culture is distinct in its attire, food, language, religion, arts, astronomy, nomadic architecture, traditional weapons, and other aspects. The most renowned emblem is a Tagal mist, also known as Shesh, which is a veil worn by men. Unlike in other societies, the veil is worn by men rather than women. The notion that by wearing a veil, a man may fend off evil spirits comes from the concept that by wearing a veil, a man can fight off evil spirits. The veil is highly useful for covering them from the harsh desert sands. It is also associated with the rite of passage to manhood, as males begin wearing a veil when they attain adulthood, which can be around the age of 18. The Tuareg wore silver-colored glass or iron jewelry as well. While in other barber cultures, jewelry is primarily worn by women, Tuareg males also use necklaces, amulets, rings, and other jewelry to beautify themselves. Beauty is vital to them. Let's have a look at the lives of Tuareg women. Tuareg women are the heart of the family, and when girls reach reproductive age, they are fattened up to fulfill Tuareg beauty standards. Courting customs are laid back and surprisingly tolerant. Weddings can last up to seven days, and are exceedingly lavish. Camels are raced, evening festivals are held, and many songs and dances are performed. The groom's family arrives in the bride's village on adorned camels and donkeys, and while weddings are celebrated, divorce is not frowned upon. The parents of a divorced girl would throw a celebration to inform prospective suitors that their child is now available. The Tuaregs are known for their bravery, and Muammar Gaddafi recognized them as determined and resourceful combatants, promoting thousands of them into the Libyan army and encouraging them to remain loyal to him. Saif Gaddafi, has found sanctuary with a gang of Tuaregs who are guiding him across the Sahara Desert, between Niger and Mali now that Gaddafi is no longer alive. Another feature that distinguishes the Tuareg, is their alphabet. The Tifinag alphabet, which was formed from antique barber writing, is regarded to be one of the most difficult alphabets in the world. The writings were discovered sketched on rocks and painted in cave shelters in North Africa and the script is thought to be roughly 3,000 years old. What are your thoughts on the video from today? Do you think they're a fascinating group of people and want to learn more about them? Please let us know what you think in the comments section below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you've enjoyed today's video be sure to give it a thumbs up, you can also watch our other amazing videos about Africa.